Good morning, staff and students. It's uh, great to have you guys in the building today. I'm glad to see you guys here again. Um, and looking forward to having an awesome day of learning. Last night, if you're like me, your, your cell phone made a really weird sound and there was a, an emergency, uh, state of emergency from the province of Alberta. And that may have been a little unsettling for you. And um, when we look at our hospital situation in the province, we have a lot of um, people in our hospitals and they're getting overcrowded. And we wanna make sure that we have places where people can feel um, be, make sure they're cared for physically. And um, this is a big problem in our province right now. And, and as you guys have known for the last 19 months, and we're, we're kind of going down the road again, where there's some more restrictions and, and things like that coming up. And, and it can be something that is very disheartening and frustrating. But it reminds me of a situation that I had uh, several years ago. And I'm going to tell you a little story. Several years ago, I had the opportunity to go whitewater rafting with some some guys for a stag and we wanted to hit the like best river that was just very fast and wild and it was going to be exciting and adventurous it was a rainy day we all jump on our our raft and there's about five or six rafts heading down the river and we come up to a section of the river where the rafting guide is like this place this is where it's going to get intense guys and, and the water's rushing he's like this time of year the water is is higher than ever and it's moving faster than ever we got to be careful and as we went around the corner there's a raft in front of us and i saw it go up on a rock and it completely completely flipped over and capsized and all the people inside of it were scattered all across the river and it was a quite scary moment there's people yelling and screaming and, and crying and people floating down this very fast moving river that I found out actually a week later that someone actually died. So it was a very serious situation. And I remember working hard, listening to the commands of the rafting guide. And we came upon this one lady and I took her by the life jacket, dunked her in and then pulled her out and she came into our raft. I often like reminisce with my friends about the situation because it was a little bit of a, of, of a sense of pride. It was pretty, pretty neat to be able to go and, and see, hey, you know what? Um, we, we had a, a problem here. We helped somebody out. I kind of, kind of relay that to a bit where we're in right now. We, we've got a situation in our province and in our school where uh, there's people hurting and we need to help them. And I think, you know, we could be frustrated with the situation with having to wear masks. But I think this may also be an opportunity where we can reflect on this time and be, hey, you know, have a sense of pride in us pulling together and helping each other out. So when you walk in the, in the building in the morning and you see I've got my mask on, I'm going to be smiling at you if you're wearing your mask too. Because I'm really proud of you for making a decision to help those around us. Because by you wearing your mask in school, you're helping out your friend, but maybe also their mom or their dad or their grandpa or their grandma. And you're doing something that's really helping other people. I know it's not comfortable. I know it's not something we like, but we're putting other people's needs in front of ours. And so I'm really proud of you for doing that. So I want to remind you of a couple things that we're doing here in the school. Please wear your mask whenever you're in any common spaces, walking through the hallways, when you're in the link. Um, Anytime you're not more than six feet apart from somebody, you should be wearing your mask. Now, I get you guys got to eat, okay? Please be mindful when you're eating. It doesn't take you 45 minutes to eat a bag of chips, right? You also should be eating when you're in a designated seating spot and drinking in a designated seating spot. So please make sure you're wearing your mask at all other times. I've also asked all of our teachers to do something else as well. I've asked them to make a seating plan in your class. And the reason being is if we can avoid the amount of close contacts with other people, I think we're gonna be in a better shape. So thank you for your cooperation with this guys. And I'm looking forward to still having a great year at keeping each other safe and caring for each other and being proud of the work that we're doing here to, to help each other out and keep us safe. Have a great day staff and students.